what's up? It is me, Toxic Babble, and today I'm going to be showing you um, some tricks and treats for um, Valentine's Day, and I'm doing a collab with Still Girl 595. Here's a uh, little uh, her. Okay, and then we have a collab with uh, Kalina Abraham and Kalena, sorry, and her um, name right there, and her, and so yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy, and, yeah, let's get right on to it. So you'll be needing sherbet, uh, raspberry to be exact, and a little scooper, uh, cup, and some Sprite or any carbonated drink. So first, you're gonna get your, uh, cup, and so, yeah, mine's clear, and so you can see what's happening. And so, you're gonna get your sherbet. I said raspberry, but since our store only had a mix... Uh, we got this, but it had raspberry in it, so it worked out fine. So yeah, you're gonna want to scoop out the raspberry, well, like the sherbet. You're gonna want to put it in your cup. You're gonna want a generous amount of it. I'm get saying, cause a lot of it's gonna like um, be gonna like when you mix it with the soda, it's not it's gonna be gone. So yeah, this is a little time lapse, and yeah, you're gonna want that much. You could have a little more if you wanted to, and. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna open. You're gonna want to get your sprite um, or your carbonated drink. And um, so when I opened it, it kind of fizzed up. <laughs> so that was a fail. But I uh, pause it and then I come back. And so yeah, um, once you get your um, sprite, you're just gonna want to pour it in here. Don't pour it in too fast. You don't want to pour it a little slower. If you pour it too fast, then all like all, all the bubbles are gonna come up, but you want you can have a little bubbles, and so yeah, that's what um, mine turned out like. And here's a little uh, clip. Um, so yeah, as you can see, um, once it sits more, there's more color, and my uh, iPad can't pick up <laughs> um, the good color, but it actually turned out very pink. Um, but yeah. So guys, the next thing on our a uh, little list in the last is Valentine's Day Rice Krispies. So yeah, uh, let's get on to it. So what you're gonna be needing is uh, three tablespoons of butter. Um, yeah, as you can see, three tablespoons. Uh, I just made sure and checked how much it was. So yes, uh, there's three tablespoons. And next you're gonna also need a uh, one cup measuring cup. <laughs> uh, and next you're gonna want a cookie cutter thing. Um, then you're gonna want, I got two bags of marshmallows, one bag equals one recipe, but I did both. And then you get Rice Krispie cereal. Then you're gonna wanna get um, some chocolate chips and that's all the ingredients, so yeah. So next you're gonna wanna put your um, stove on uh, like low. And then you're gonna drop your three tablespoons of butter in and let that uh, sit and let it melt. I stirred it around and let it melt so yeah, uh, watch the time lapse. So as you can see, the butter is all melted. You can't really see, but yeah, it is all melted. And next, you're gonna want, this clip was a little long, but you're gonna want to add your marshmallows. If you follow what I do, I add, if you just use one bag of marshmallows, you're gonna only add three tablespoons. As you can see, but if you're gonna do two bags of marshmallows like I did, you're gonna have two tablespoons of butter. I mean, uh, six tablespoons of butter, sorry. And yeah, so um, you're gonna let that, <laughs> um, you're gonna empty the bag. And once it's empty, as I did two, but you don't have to do two, it depends how many you're gonna make. We filled two trays with the um, two bags of marshmallows and the Rice Krispies we made. So yeah, um, as you can see, they're all gone almost. <laughs> and yeah, so once you um, get it, you're gonna have these at like a low, but you're gonna wanna have a little higher, just a little higher than you melted the butter with. As, my, as you can see, my mom's getting a spoon, it would be easier to melt with. And you're gonna, I added pink food coloring. I forgot to say they're gonna want pink food coloring for this. If you want it Valentine's Day themed, as this whole thing is. So I added five drops, uh, five um, red 
thing, the hot red food coloring, as you can see, five. And um, yeah, so uh, you're gonna just wanna mix that around until it's a very smooth, semi-smooth paste. Um, and so it like um, it's easier to pull, um, when you're mixing your Rice Krispies in. And as you can see, all the marshmallows are almost melted. And I keep this t process takes a while. It depends how high you want it. You do not want the um uh you're not you want to turn up the uh turn it up as much as, like turn up the heat. And then as you can see, I uh, added the rice crispy. I added the whole bag because I did two packs of marshmallows. If you do one, you're only gonna need uh, six cups of the Rice Krispies, but if you do two, you're gonna want 12. And this whole bag was uh, 10, so it was fine. So yeah, as you can see, we were mixing it around. And I added a little more food coloring, so it'd be a little more pink. And yeah, you just stir that around until everything is thoroughly mixed. Then uh, my mom carried it over and then poured it on for me so I could film it. And once you get this, you're gonna. We had enough for two, as I said. So we got two trays. If you do the two bags of marshmallows and the same recipe I'm doing, you're gonna get two trays. Usually, it depends how big your, your trays are. And so yeah, um, there. You're gonna want a tool to flatten it. I um, it. I found another tool that was really easy to flatten it with. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and my mom was flattening the other tray and so yeah, I did this and then my mom gave me this other tool It was like a flat thing which made it a lot easier And you want these all the way smooth and make it even and then you're gonna put them in the freezer for 30 minutes for them to cool down when you're going to put it in the um, When you're gonna cut them out and so yeah, um uh, Yeah, let's get on to the next step so you're gonna wanna put a pot over boiling water on your stove. So you're gonna cut out your Rice Krispies that you froze earlier and you're gonna wanna cut them in squares or a cookie cutter shape, but you can cut them in squares. You want the water to boil and as you see we cut them and the water is starting to boil right now. As you can see we put the pot in the um, in the uh, thing, uh, the boiling water. So we, we turn on lights and we added the chocolate inside because this is gonna help melt it this is gonna melt the chocolate um to put on the uh, rice krispies as you can see this is what it's gonna look like when it's all melted and you're gonna get your rice crispy you're gonna dip up uh, tilt the pan and dip it inside and then like turn it around and get a good coating on there it's hard to get half because we didn't have enough chocolate, but so yeah, that's what we did. And then we added some sprinkles onto the uh, thing. And if you have excess ones, just shake it off like I did. And this is what they look like when they're done. Um, uh, like when they are done uh, putting chocolate on them. We have our two judges, them. Charlotte yeah, and Ruthie for our taste test. Taste them now. Okay, Charlotte, what do you think about our Valentine's Rice Krispies? Um, they taste good. Like what? Um, chocolate because they have chocolate on it. What do you think? Um, uh, I think it tastes like raspberries. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to try one, Judge Mom? Nothing. Okay. And that concludes Chopped with Kids.